business basics. Let's begin with business operations. What are business operations? Business operations refer to activities that a business engages in on a daily basis to increase the value of the enterprise. The activities can be optimized to generate sufficient revenues to cover expenses and earn a profit. Managers in the enterprise help accomplish the goals of the business by performing certain functions. What are the essential functions in business operations? The essential functions vary from business to business, but there are also typical functions found in most of the businesses. Let's look at two categories of businesses, that of the manufacturing firms and that of the retail firms. Sales and service are always essential for most of the businesses. However, manufacturing and research and development could be typical for the manufacturing firms, but not for others. Raw material procurement to the manufacturing firms is buying of merchandise to the retail firms. Business operations are different for different industries. The operation of a business vary across industries and they are structured according to the requirements of each specific industry. To help the business achieve success, managers need to master the specific operations for a specific industry. For example, in the case of retail industry, one of the main goals of a retail business is to stock products that customers are looking for and at a price that the customers are willing to pay. This means that the business must maintain an efficient inventory system so that it knows what is in stock at any given time while reducing instances of dead stock. Dead stock refers to products that the company has in stock but that are not in high demand. In order to maximize revenues, the business must stock fast moving items that customers are willing and happy to pay for. The business should also negotiate friendly credit terms with the suppliers so that they can get the required product on credit to prevent stockouts. In the case of manufacturing industry, manufacturing companies are involved in turning raw materials into physical products, which are then sold to consumers. One of the many things that a manufacturing company must do to achieve efficiency is to source quality raw materials from credible suppliers. For perishable and edible products, the business must strictly control how raw materials are stored, processed, and ship to the consumers. How to improve business operations? There are three key activities that businesses must perform to improve business operations. One, measure performance. A business should come up with a realistic and actionable means of measuring its business milestones. The process of measuring performance starts from the goal setting stage. The company's management must set achievable objectives with clear targets. For example, the goal of achieving a 30% increase in revenue is more actionable than setting a goal to make more money in the next financial period, which is not sufficiently specific for actions. The company should then implement a measurement system that determines how well the business is doing against the targeted goals. Two, 
keep up with the latest trends. A business should stay up to date with what happens in the industry to get ideas on how to get better than the competition. Trend can take the form of new innovation, changing state and federal laws, or changes in the local or even global economy. Knowing the latest trends and changes in operations can help the company find new systems that improve performance and cut costs or will help the company stay compliant with the regulations. Three, streamline processes. Another way of improving business operations is to evolve with changes in the industry to increase productivity. The management should continually be on the lookout for new tools, new software, new equipment that improve and ease critical processes. For example, where the business uses manual methods to manage inventory, the management can acquire an inventory measurement system that automates most of the processes and save both time and costs. How are business operations managed? Business operations is teamwork across many departments in the organization. Alignment is key to running any business efficiently. Managing business operations essentially means creating the cross-team alignment that allows predictable, systematic growth of the business. Some of the most common functions of managing the business operations are strategic planning and forecasting, analyzing market opportunities and trends with the business, monitor benchmarks and performance data, defining end-to-end cross-functional process, identifying and tracking key performance indicators critical to the health of the teams within the business. Now let's move on to business intelligence decision-making. Business intelligence, BI, combines business analytics, data mining, data visualization, data tools and infrastructure, and best practices to help organizations to make more data-driven decisions. In practice, you know you have got modern business intelligence when you have a comprehensive view of your organization's data and use that data to drive change, eliminate inefficiencies, and quickly adapt to market changes. Business intelligence can help companies make better decisions by showing present and historical data within their business context. Managers can leverage business intelligence to provide benchmarks of performance among competitors to make the organization run more efficiently. Managers can also support market trends more easily to increase sales and revenues. A few ways that business intelligence can help companies make better, smarter, data-driven decisions are identify ways to increase profit, analyze customer behavior, compare data with competitors, track performance, optimize operations, predict success, spot market trends, discover issues or problems. In the simplest terms, business intelligence is data visualization. Just like you can make some charts in Excel to show the results of the data. Of course, business intelligence can do more things. For example, multiple important indicators or charts can be put together to construct a dashboard so that various trends can be seen at a glance 
and users can also use different filters to analyze data from multiple angles or continuously do the drill down and roll up to understand the situations by looking at data at different levels. For example, from country to region to city or individually look at the changes of each indicator so as to have an understanding of the causes of each feature. The impact of business intelligence on decision making cannot be underemphasized. The ultimate goal of business intelligence is data driven decision making. By understanding the current status and forecasts of the data, business managers can make data oriented decisions about the results. Few companies will reach this level of completely data led decisions. After all, not many companies can guarantee the authenticity and credibility of data and human experience and judgment must play a decisive role too. But there is no doubt data analysis can assist the managers make good decisions. All said and done, a business could either prosper or just survive or fail completely in the face of competitions, good business decisions made by the managers will determine the outcome. I will talk to you again in the next lecture.